step by step. Uh, this video is about those people who are thinking of getting a biob and they're not really sure which of the lighting options they offer you should get. So, um, uh, so biob offer two main sort of lighting options with their aquariums. Uh, there's a standard lighting or classic as, as they call it. Um, they also offer uh, what's called MCR. So I'll talk about MCR as well. So uh, there was another lighting, which I think is still available, I'm not so sure, called intelligent lighting. So I'll briefly talk about intelligent lighting as well. Um, so starting off with standard lighting. Um, uh, the standard lighting is basically, uh, this is the standard lighting and it, it comes with a switch uh, and, and you turn it on. And, uh, it's, it's a constant uh, light um, and when you want it on, you turn it on. When you want it off, you turn it off. So that is the standard lighting. Um, it just goes straight onto the top of your biorb like this. I'll switch it on and I'll tell you why I don't use it <laughs> in a minute. Uh, I'll switch it on and that's what it looks like. Now, the reason I don't use standard lighting is uh, because it clashes terribly with my uh, video camera. Um, so I made the mistake on one of my aquariums of thinking I don't need uh, MCR, I'll just get standard lighting, so, which I did. And then I found out that it causes a, um, a flashing effect, which you might actually be seeing at the moment. So anyway, that's why I don't use that. Otherwise, I'm going to turn it off just in case it is doing what I'm talking about. Otherwise, for me, um, I, I, I don't mind the standard lighting at all. I think, you know, for the cost, I think it's, it, it depends on whether you want to spend that, just that bit more for, for standard lighting compared to, uh, to MCR. And if I show you MCR as well, then, then obviously you, you can make up your own mind as to you know, what suits you best. Um, I mentioned they, they did another, or, or might still do one called intelligent lighting, which is also sometimes called moonlight. And what the moonlight or the intelligent sort of lighting does when you switch it on, it cycles through a 24 hour period and it has a period that you can set for when there is a, a moonlight sort of color. So over time, as uh, towards the evening, the, the, the lighting will change from being a white light to a blue light and the intensity of the blue would increase through the night, so so that's the so that's the moonlight intelligent um, lighting. The uh, the other option is, or I th I think there's actually only two options at the moment from Bio, but but the other one is MCR and um, which stands for multicolored remote control. So you get a you get a remote control, and as you can see on here. Um, there's lots of colour options on there. So it, it looks very similar. Um, I'll put this, I'll swap these over now so that I'll take off the standard and I'll put on the MCR light. So this is an MCR light that I've just put on now. There you go. And I'm going to switch it on. So there you go. Now it has a lot of switches on there and I, I, I'll talk you through what these do. Um, the first thing, there's an on and off button, so I mean that's obvious what that does, so off and on. Okay, there, there is a white light option which is what is on now, so it's now on white light. But then the good thing, that I, the thing I like particularly about this one is that then you can vary the intensity of the white light. So that's, so I'm slowly dropping the white light down. The intensity, so so you can lower the the uh, you can lower the intensity of the white light, put it back onto full, there. So that, so that's one thing that this does. The other thing, obviously, it has all these color options as well. So so if you want to, uh, you can choose to suit your mood or whatever things. Um, uh, you can change your. I'm gonna yeah. <laughs> I thought that would happen. 
the, the my other my other aquarium behind me is picking up the same remote so anyway just ignore that one <laughs> so uh so that's the the red the green the blue and then you've got all these in between sort of colors so you, uh, so you can choose which color you, you like uh, my personal preference is i prefer the white but um you can get some amazing and you won't see it now not during the daytime but it it, it does color it, it does change the appearance of a whole range of things in your aquarium so um, it, it can be quite attractive depending on which options that there, there are color options which I don't like at all but but that's all down to personal sort of preference I'm not I'm not here to dictate what it is you like and what you don't like so anyway so that I'll turn it back onto white again so again just using the top bottom so so that's so that's those switches um, all here that's your options so color all white and then you can change the intensity I, I also should mention that on the colored light you can change the intensity of the color as well so I'll do that I'm not sure how much you're seeing uh, uh, the benefits of these as I said are mainly achieved at night time so for each of the colors you can change the intensity of that color so I'll go back to white again back to white now, the other, th the, the other thing it does, it has, uh, there's two buttons here. One looks like a squiggly line, a worm <laughs> of some kind, and the other one looks like two cogs, which I suppose it is, uh, maybe. Um, if, you, if you were to press the, uh, uh, the squiggly line, uh, this one here, which I'll do now, what it does, it, 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 it cycles through all the different colors like this and it will just do this all the time it will just keep cycling all through every one of these colors it will cycle like that the other button which is what I describe as two cogs I'm not sure if it is two cogs but it looks like two cogs to me if you press that it basically stops it it stops the cycle so then you go back to the, you know your color option okay so there you go cycle stop the cycle okay i'll go back to white light now along the top here you have some uh, timer options so on, on here on this one you, your options are are so eight hour 10 hour 12 hour and 14 hours and what this does is that it it allows the bulb to cycle and through a daytime uh, through a sunset and then through into a nighttime mode and then back into a sunrise mode back through to daytime so that's the 24 hour cycle and the numbers along the top which are 8 10 12 14 they represent how many hours of daylight the cycle includes so for example if you chose the uh, the 10 hour uh, 10 hour option which is here so that will give you 10 hours of daylight as soon as you I, i'm going to show you I'll, I'll show you how this works now so i'm going to press on 10 hours there you go so i've started the cycle now the cycle for daytime starts in effect with what, uh, what is a sunrise and the sunrise is for an hour and it the sunrise slowly increases or yeah gets lighter through the one hour so it starts off a dark blue like a moonlight color and then it gets lighter and lighter and lighter for an hour and as soon as it reaches the hour it's then onto a daytime full brightness or, or, or white light um, if you set 10 hours it will it will stay daytime for 10 hours so, so, so that's what you get on the 10 hours. And it, it's the same for all, for all these options, 8, 10, 12, 14. The, num the, 40, the, the numbers represent the, the amount of daylight, okay, with a one hour leading time. So, so the question is, what's the point? And, and a lot of that comes from, from not really understanding, you know, what this is trying to achieve. And... It doesn't help that bio don't seem to know that either in, in, in terms of their sort of literature and they uh, they have a 
the guidance on how to program your uh, biob intelligent lighting, and it, it's it's really talking about uh, how you set the timer uh, that you know that's on here, and it says to, that you should set the cycle to match where you live, and then it gives an example, it's, and it says if you live in Alaska and you only get six hours of daylight, set the timer for six hours, which has nothing to do at all with what this is actually about. It's got nothing to do with the idea of setting your aquarium so it reflects what's happening outside your window. That isn't what this is about. This here, this program, is about a mimicking a natural environment of a tropical fish. And I want to say that, uh, tropical fish, and all the fish I have here, and probably the fish you have as well, they come from very, very stable tropical environments. And when I say stable, uh, stable in a whole broad range of things, you know, temperature, things like that, but there, it's also stable in the length of daylight. And across a year, from a whole year, uh, you know, 12 months, the difference between the longest day and the shortest day might be as little as an hour. And quite often it's around about sort of two hours. In Brazil it's about three hours, but that, you know, that's sort of a bit of, oh, you know. Um, so, yeah, sort of two hours is, is the difference um, in terms of uh, daylight length across the whole year. And, and compare that to, say, uh, the UK, where the difference between um, uh, longest day and shortest daylight is something around about sort of eight hours, I would say. Um, you know, that's a big difference compared to this. So this is about setting, if you like, an artificial environment or light for your tropical fish. That is totally independent of what the real world outside your window is doing. And that's really what it's about. Now, if, if you want to use this uh, for a, a mixed community tropical uh, fish uh, aquarium, you should be using uh, for the typical fish that, that the vast majority of people will have, you should be using something like the 10 hour setting, I would say. Uh, use the 10 hour setting. Uh, in effect, when you start the 10 hour setting, sort of has no bearing at all with uh, you know, the outside world because you, you, uh, you're creating an environment or uh, if you like a lighting environment within your aquarium. That is about your aquarium and not about and not reflecting what's outside. But saying that, no, uh, nobody wants to have an aquarium that starts to fade into nighttime mode at, at something like seven o'clock, eight o'clock in the evening, uh, at a time when they really want to um, enjoy their aquarium. So, so when, so what you need to do if if you want to use this and you're going to use the ten hours, you, you need to sort of work out when you want that ten hours to be. When you want it to start, and when you want it to finish, and when you want it to go into night mode, and then come back around again. So that so that's how you use it. And you, apart from that, once you get your head around it, it is very simple. It's just a matter of just pressing a button. Ten hours. There, I've started the cycle, and I leave it. If if that's how I wanted to do it, that's it. I don't touch it anymore. I just leave that now to cycle. I, I don't turn it off. Just leave it alone. I don't mess around with the colours, I'll just leave it. That is how you use the other timer on one of these remote controls. And in my, uh, my preference, and, and, there's, and there's two reasons why I, I would probably always get this, uh, the MCR, is the first one is it's the only only lighting system that works for my video cameras. So that's a personal thing for why I need to have it. And the other thing I really like is I don't always like to have this on bright intensity. In fact, if I'm not around, it goes off. If I am around, I put it. I, I tend to put it on. But I, I might not always have it on on, on a bright intensity, and I, I might just turn it down to a, a sort of a lower sort of you know a sort of low light, which is. Uh, which is that setting there? So, so there you are. Um, they are they are fairly straightforward. Unfortunately, the instructions you get from Biob um, are, are not. 
and uh, you have to try and work out how they work really so hopefully the way I've, I've, de I've described should help you to understand um, how to use them and also um, sh should help you uh, maybe decide on, on really you know, which lighting uh, system works for you um, you know whether the standard lighting is is good enough for you uh, fine if you don't do videos like I do then yeah uh, by all means get the uh, the standard or the classic sort of lighting if you like particularly the the, the option of changing your colors well clearly this is you know you need to have the uh, uh, the multicolored uh, remote control system for that and also if you like the idea of being able to have uh, a bright white light but also be able to change the, uh, the intensity of that white light then again the the MCR is probably uh, your best choice so that, so those are the so those are the options and uh, and so currently available from Biold. so I hope you found this uh, video useful um, I hope it helps you make your mind up if that's where you are at the moment uh, just a big thank you for watching the video uh, and uh, thank you for uh, supporting uh, the channel th uh, through subscription uh, that's really appreciated and if you like this video don't forget to like it as well okay <laughs> take care Bye.